Walmart scraps decision to pull guns and ammo from store shelves. Written by Ivan Penchukov from the Epoch Times on October 30, 2020. Walmart announced on Friday that it is reversing the decision to remove guns and ammunition from its store shelves ahead of election day. The company made the announcement in an email obtained by Bloomberg. After civil unrest earlier this week resulted in damage to several of our stores, consistent with actions we took over the summer, we asked stores to move firearms and ammunition from the sales floor to a secure location in the back of the store in an abundance of caution, Walmart said, according to Bloomberg. As the current incidents have remained geographically isolated, we've made the decision to begin returning these products to the sales floor today. Guns and ammo were pulled off Walmart shelves on Thursday after one of its stores in Philadelphia was looted and damaged. Walmart pulled guns and ammo from sales floors earlier this year in response to widespread demonstrations, vandalism, looting and riots following the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis. Guns and ammo do remain available for purchase by customers, the retailer had said in its statement on Thursday, adding that we only sell firearms in approximately half of our stores, primarily where there are large concentrations of hunters, sportsmen and sportswomen. The firm stopped selling ammunition that can be used in semi-automatic rifles and pistols after the mass shooting at a Walmart in El Paso, Texas in 2019. In 2018, Walmart raised the minimum age to purchase ammo or guns to 21 following the Parkland, Florida mass shooting. Years before that, the retailer stopped selling certain rifles and about 20 years ago it stopped selling handguns except in Alaska. Walmart chief executive Doug McMillan said last year that the company was selling will sell firearms that are used primarily for hunting. As a company, we experienced two horrific events in one week and we will never be the same, he said. Our remaining assortment will be even more focused on the needs of hunting and sports shooting enthusiasts. I'm a gun owner myself, he added in the statement at the time. In a complex situation lacking a simple solution, we are trying to take constructive steps to reduce the risk that events like these will happen again, he added. The status quo is unacceptable. Over the past several months, in the midst of riots and the Chinese Communist Party virus pandemic, guns and ammo sales have skyrocketed. The national shooting Sports Foundation, a firearms trade group, said in August that about 12 million background checks were carried out between January and July 2020, which is up about 72% from the same time last year. About 5 million of those purchased involved first-time gun buyers, according to the group. This is a tectonic shift in the firearm and ammunition industry marketplace and complete transformation of today's gun owning community, said Lawrence G. Keen, an executive of the organization. These first-time buyers represent a group of people who, until now, were agnostic regarding firearm ownership. That's rapidly changing and these Americans are taking hold of their God-given right to keep and bear arms and protect themselves and their loved ones. Walmart operates more than 4,700 stores across the United States according to reports. If you like my content, please subscribe, watch, like, comment and share. Both on my main and my backup channel. I cannot rely on YouTube to recommend my videos to other people if you know what I mean. And of course, join our Facebook group. The link is in the description. We have a strict zero-tolerance shoot-at-first-sight policy towards trolls and shills.